All right, there you go. That is the skeleton. Intro, four bars. Extra intro, extra four bars. Some people skip this part. File, delete time. Wow. Okay, so beat intro, add the drums, build up, add one thing, chorus, add four things, break down, uh, get rid of two things first, get, add one thing, get rid of one more thing, and then chorus, add a hundred things, and then outro, and fade it out, if you don't know, this is the fade. We're going to be delegating, if you if you use command on Mac, control on PC, command 1 and command 2, you see these boxes, command 1, they get smaller, command 2, they get bigger, okay? So, command 2 all the way to this, this is the, you know, main length we work with we'd call four bars because you look up here it's one two three four and then on the fifth repeating thing it goes into the next four bars so that's one two three four one and two and three and four and then five and six and so on so you want to really work in four bars you don't want to be doing anything at the beginning at least that isn't like after four bars, I change this. After four bars, I change this. After four bars, I change this. That's the most simple way to put it. Is it's a series of four bar loops. That's all producing music. You know, beats is at its core. Series of loops. So we'll start this. I have some noise under it that helps add like uh, ambiance. Let's ignore this. It plays this piano by itself for four bars. And then we have this thing kind of signal that something's changing because a small change happens here. And then this is a riser. It sounds like this. It rises and then it hits the impact. You always put these impacts on the first downbeat the first beat when you do something new. I'm sure you've heard this sound before. It's like any sound, you just put reverb on a sound and let it ride out. But you put those on the downbeats whenever you're making a big change, adding something new. All right, and in this case, we had the drums. So to go along with it, we add an impact. And before the impact, we add a, a riser. And this riser, I left click, show automation. I turned it off when the beat hit. It just cleans it up. Because I don't want that sound to go on forever. Because that's why I got this. Okay. And then we go with this beat, right? So in lots of styles, you have this intro, then an intro to the beat, and then you have a build up. That, that's where the build up would go, right? And then it goes into the quote unquote chorus section where I just add two elements. Alright, and as you see, when I added this chorus section, we also added it's a small little impact, just a random noise that I went double click the audio and I did this to it. And then I put a ping pong delay on it up here in audio effects. Put it it's called delay if you have the newest tables in 10. And then you let this ride out, and then there's a breakdown. And it's cool to put impacts on breakdowns. And then you would really just rinse and repeat, hit the chorus again or hit a verse part again. Uh yeah. But really this addition and subtraction of elements is the main part. You start with something minimal, you add another thing, you let people get used to that over either this period of time or double that. And then usually I would add like a little interest here. I didn't want to push it 
I uh, just want to keep it simple. And then chorus, there's more stuff going on, a lot more. Um, really just ignore this section for now. It might even be easier if we just look at it like this. Really just one thing, two things, two things times two, four things, then back to two things. We didn't drop back to one because that'd be too drastic. Like at this point we have four things going on. We're fine to have two things going on. That's it's really it's relative because music is relative to what you heard one second ago. This 37 here, we just did a little cut. You hear that in uh, lots of popular music now. Just silence is widely appreciated. A lot of times my workflow is I'll start and none of this exists. I just start creating stuff and after a while I have this, you know, a full song. Everything's going. So then you want to hit Command D or Control D. Let me delete this real quick. You want to hit Control D. Bam, 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 bam. Right? Just whatever amount of time. So at this point then what you can do is you already have the whole thing. You basically just take stuff away. Intro, take that away. Beat introduction, take that away. Build up, take that away. Oops. Maybe just add this guy there. And then chorus, bam. We'll color code by section now. So you really see what's going on. There we go. Break down once again. There we go. Verse. Uh, we'll do first this color, and the chorus will be yellow. And there we go. Did we do? See this? Perfect. Beautiful. Oh wait, no, not beautiful. Um, first we'll take away this guy. Break down. Like I said, those first. None of that. Bam, 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 bam.